Hey everybody, this is the NZ-41, also known as the Charlton. It uh, sort of reminds me of the BAR, the Browning Automatic Rifle. And like the BAR, it can go full auto. Looks pretty cool, and it's got a bunch of mods. Let's check it out. Skip around a little bit here. Um, attachments. We can go no attachment, we can have a bipod, a bayonet, flashlight, or laser sight. Look at these stocks. There's a sort of skeletonized uh, metal stock here. Orb Weaver Folding. The Orb Weaver Elite, which is pretty ornate. The Ravenwood Padded. LOR Reinforced. And the Orb Weaver E-Pack. And the LOR Mark III SC. Here's some foregrip options. You can go no foregrip. The Mark VI Skeletal, the SMLE Pistol Grip, and uh, I went with the M1930 Strife Angled. We've got five barrel options here, which are uh, cosmetically distinct, um, and they'd have different effects uh, depending on whether you want a uh, long-range weapon or a close-range weapon. Uh, this is the LOR Mark I, the Orb Weaver Custom, the Orb Weaver 360mm BC, the Ravenwood 480mm number 2, and the Standard Barrel. And muzzle options, we have a Standard Muzzle, the Compensator, a Cord Muzzle Brake, or an MX Silencer. And we can turn the Sprint on and off, the, uh, you can just Standard Sprint, or the Tactical Sprint. Which I went with that, because why not? Alright, let's check out the magazines. Uh, there's a standard mag and the 3, 308 British 20 round fast mag, which allows for faster reloads. Then, uh, in, as far as different calibers go, we can change to the uh, 5.56 30 round mag and the 5mm 45 round mag. Which uh, I would recommend the higher capacity mags if you were going full auto. But if we went to uh, the receivers, um, sometimes that damage can be a little low. Like here, it's like the damage is 16 with a 5mm, so it's like you're running around with a, a pipe gun. So you're going to have to be sort of careful. Um, there are a large amount of receivers available. So by mixing and matching the two, you should find a power level you're satisfied with. Uh, like if I went with the advanced uh, semi-auto receiver, the damage would be 71. Now, the first time I took this out, um, I went with a semi-auto receiver and the 5mm uh, ammo type. I think the damage was pretty low, like somewhere between 16 and 25. I didn't really pay attention. So I was just, you know, I figured, oh, well, this shouldn't be a problem. It's like running around with a pipe gun, right? <laughs> so, these things are like absolute bullet sponges. Like in swarm attacks, it was just—it was just too much. Even with sexy Codsworth, they had to try and distract them. And then I attracted some dogs from on top of this hill here. The whole thing turned ugly fairly fast. So I said, "All right, <laughs> something needs to be done." So I went back and grabbed a different receiver, jumped up the power to like 50 something, and uh, things worked. Things worked out a lot better. I don't know, because you're rolling there with like a thousand rounds. You go, well, this shouldn't be a problem, right? You got like a glorified pipe gun and 16 damage. I felt like I actually had a thing of power here. Lovely. Oh boy. All right, it's starting to thunder here, so I got to mix this up. Um, so I was dumb again, okay? And I went to uh, a semi-auto. And, uh, the rate of fire is pretty slow. <laughs> like, like, pretty slow. And, and the gun jumps around a bit. It's tough to, it's tough for me to keep it on target. More so than usual, you know? Um. Oh, boy. This flamethrower guy is real annoying. I don't know if you could hear that. <laughs> but anyway. Um. 
it was too slow. You know, you probably could jack the damage up to about, I don't know, 70-something without, you know, doing anything crazy. Gosh, but I, I really got to tell you, it, I think this gun is best at uh, fully auto. You know, plenty of ammo with a sort of a balanced damage type. And not like, not up so high you're chewing through every enemy you come across. Oh, gosh. But I think that this gun is really made for more of a, a spray and pray play style. Unless you want to, you know, set up at a distance, put a longer scope on it, and, um, you know, and wreak havoc. As the rate of fire in semi auto, it was just too slow. Like, you're gonna get. You're gonna get whacked. And I guess, I don't know, I say too slow, but I mean, like, too slow for me. Particularly, like, you know, with the gun sort of bouncing up and down. Um, I think a full auto is the way to go. Oh, yeah, take that, buddy. Um, definitely spray and pray, unless you, unless you set it up for long range. But is it a fun gun? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, buddy. You know, maybe I had bitten a little more off than I could chew with, uh, you know, trying to go with, like, a medium-range damage and uh, with a, with a semi-auto weapon that was just... You know, boom, boom, boom. Look how shitty my aim is. And my aim sucks, so, you know, there's that. Oh. Take that, pal. Anyway, it is worth the download, and, and it's worth messing around with. And thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.